Hi, I'm Shubankar Ghosh. I'm working in the capacity of Chief People Officer for Zoom Insurance Brokers Private Limited. The next topic is what the student should do in the two years journey during their MBA, specifically the HR students. Uh, there are many ways of, you know, uh, approaching this agenda. Firstly, you should do a you know SWOT analysis for yourself and based on that SWOT analysis you should make your own personal development chart many people I see that they are weak in their communication skills they are introvert they are uh, not having any writing skills so they should identify what area they are weak into and the weakest area they should first touch because two years you know how you you know it passes away you will never know and many times you know in the MBA or the BBA that is the first time when they move out of their hometown or they move out of their home very far and they stay in a hostel so people get carried away they feel that you know uh, I will enjoy these are the periods when I enjoy but one thing I would like to tell everybody is that you will get plenty of time to enjoy once your career is settled. So first of all, I would request everybody to be serious in what they are doing. I am sure they are spending money of their mom and dad. And they would definitely like to you know, use that in the right way. So please be serious and work out on your grey areas. For example, if you think that you have come from a very small town and you do not have too much of links in Delhi NCR, the first thing which you should do after coming and joining HR fraternity, HR uh, MBA program is that you should start building up your network in that local area. You should start using the online medium for approaching and connecting with different corporate people. If you start doing it, what will happen? You will start interacting with them also. You can take some time maybe through a message that I would like to meet you at this so and so time at your office. Would you give me a permission? So if that person gives you a permission, you go and meet. What will happen? You will in turn, you know, develop a lot of qualities. Qualities like one thing, you have already started, you know, understanding what is networking. How do you establish the network? You, when you will go to meet him, obviously you will go in a prepared manner so you will understand you know how to keep yourself organized when you will meet him you will see that you know you're a little bit afraid so you will start becoming more and more confident and when he or she will ask you plenty of questions which are uncomfortable to you you will start understanding the practicalities of life so it's very very important that you should learn this trick and art Second most thing, important thing is that whenever you pick up any project or any internship program, try to work in the domain of HR. There are a lot of people who study HR but they do some project in some other areas. It's no harm to do a project. But since your core subject is HR or one of the specialization is HR, you should be in HR. So that you can understand that how the practical world works. If you are in a company where you do not get to see any organizational culture, I think you should be fortunate that you know you have been able to see that um, you know unorganized way of working. At least it will help you if you get a job in some unorganized sector, how to make it organized. So you should very judiciously and religiously choose the company and the project which you will be doing very very important don't copy paste your project the two months you get for internship it should not be such that you should be taking a single leave also during the internship you should try to give maximum confidence to your 
mentor and also the senior officials with whom you get introduced. The job market is not that great and moreover you know with a ratio of 400 to 1, 400 employees and one HR professional to manage 400. So the job opportunities are also less and there are people who are passing out every year like mushrooms. So very very clear that until and unless you are doubly sure that you will get a job, you cannot take chances. You have to be sincere. So when you go out for internship, try to build up a solid relationship in the organization where you are doing relationship where you are doing interns and if you are able to impress them you might even get an offer letter at the end of the internship so try to aim for that so the most important thing which i would like to highlight here is that how you can understand how important is the relationship and the network again some people uh, you know confuse between networking and buttering there is a lot of difference Networking is, a, is an art, buttering can be a kind of a politics. So there is a lot of difference between buttering and networking. Networking is completely de dependent upon your performance and the kind of attitude you have. So two things, very very important, you should perform well and at the same time your potential should be visible to people that yes, you can be a fresher but you hold the qualities of becoming a manager. Thank you so much. Really?